All right, today we have more brand new 2021 Hot Wheels. This is the 2021 Spring Series. This is, um, I believe this is a Kroger exclusive. I'm gonna turn this slide on. Um, that's where I found them today. They had two whole like sidekick displays of them. There were so many of them. Um, the cool thing about these, this set, is these are all licensed casting. Usually the Spring sets or like the Christmas sets, they're only like half license or there's one or two licensed cars in them and they're usually not like even the best licensed cars all these are fire like these are amazing casting so um even though they have like the spring theme cards these cars are awesome so i'm gonna go through them and open them up the first one is the 2016 bmw m2 boom the m2 is a really cool car in real life like i love like how muscly it looks uh, the casting, the Hot Wheels casting, is I like it. Um, look at that card. Like you give it, that's like a Easter card. So this casting, um, I really like this casting. It looks awesome with those blue chrome wheels. Um, there's it is. It says Spring Circuit 21. Just a very clean. Like um, you can kind of see right there. The Hot Wheels logo has something above it, and that is actually like the Angry Easter Bunny logo they have right there. And I believe that's on all the cars in the series. But this is a sick, like, this livery is dope. Look at that checkered flag. Like, look how clean that design is. For a, like, Kroger Spring line series, this is awesome. Like, this casting is nice. I really like it. Like, this is probably one of the more impressive um, spring or, like, themed, like, season-themed um, sets we've gotten in a while. So this one I didn't show off my bad. The Nissan Fairlady Z in um, like a pale yellow. And I believe this design harkens back to the old uh, Z days of like the Blackwall red line. I believe it had a very similar paint job that said like Datsun or Nissan across the hood. So um, a little throwback there, but this is an amazing looking car too. I like the pale yellow. I actually like this color better than the Japanese historics. I believe it was two. They had like a bright yellow version of this car, and to me, the pale yellow just fits it a lot better. Um, it just, I, I don't, I'm not a huge yellow fan, but this one actually looks decent with this livery. So here's another one, like there's the bunny logo gang. It says Spring 21, obviously has a 21 on it because of that, but very nice car overall. Like this set is amazing. So the third one is the 70 Dodge Hemi Challenger. Really cool, like I love that lime green color. And it's realistic, like, you could get a Hemi Challenger in this color, so that's, like, half the cool part about it. Whoop. I like this casting. It has the, oh, come on, come on. It has, like, the steel wheels, um, white-lined, green and blue graphics. It has the Easter Bunny logo there again, Spring 21 Dodge. I mean, this is a nice casting. I love the purple. This is, like, where it gets a little, like, springy, where the colors start to get a little fantasy. But I actually like it. Like, I like the purple interior in real life. The purple goes really well. Like, it works together as a package. It looks a little fantasy-ish, but I like it. I mean, it looks good. Even um, some detailing on this, like, just putting a Sharpie, like, black in the grill or black in the scoop the um the purple interior will fit even better i'm leaving it how it is i like it man that's nice let me know in the comments once like you get done seeing them all which one is your favorite or if you're going to buy these or if you buy the spring cars usually because this is a great year to buy them because they're all licensed so 67 shelby gt500 i uh, this is probably this is my favorite color combo of the whole lot it's not my favorite car but it's my favorite paint job i love the vintage blue purple and like pinkish orange i just think it looks great in the 21 it actually has an egg shape because it's like spring easter which i think is a nice touch too so they put little like literal easter eggs in these sometimes so let's take a look at that beast man that orange interior just sets this thing off it has like light yellow tinted windows um the wheels are it's really interesting because they're not super gold but they are gold they're like a, almost like a yellow so here hang on um i'll show you in the next one like this one the trans in in the series you can see a little bit more that those are gold they're they're similar this one is actually more gold in real life but this one is actually like a lighter yellow and it just i mean this this casting all these castings are great they really did a killer job on this set man those look it looks good I love the egg, and it says GT500, Spring 2021, and again, the Angry Bunny. This is a really nice car. All these roll really well because they're main lines. Um, so 
the price on these I believe were just a dollar like these are the same price as a regular uh, mainline which is nice I found them at Kroger like I said there's two sidekicks and they were 10 for 10 this week so if you go to your Kroger today or tomorrow or basically before spring of 2021 this I'm filming this in March so um, you should be able to find them. This is the last one, the 77 Pontiac Firebird Trans Amp. This is my favorite casting of the lot. I love this car. I love the original Hotbird. I think this is this is one we really don't get to see too often in the main line, the cheap version of it. I think it was a flame car a year or two ago. I can't remember, but the cool part about it is like if you look at the hood bird, they replaced it with the Easter Bunny. So, which I think is actually kind of cool. It's very interesting. When you look, like when you first look at it, it just looks like a design. I had to like kind of study it for a second to realize it was supposed to be a bunny. So it has a little Trans Am tampo on the hood. Um, spring 2021, there's the hardcore bunny, 21 on the edge. I like, this casting is nice. I actually had already opened it because I'm gonna customize one. Um, but one thing I did notice about these cars is there are color variations. I don't know if it's coming through on video, but the bottom one is a super bright yellow and the bottom one is a pale orange. Um, it's much more pale in real life. And I bought a couple of them because I'm going to customize them. And two of them were this super bright yellow color. It is, I mean, I wish it would come through better in the, like in the video. It might come better after I edit it. But this one is just like a really goldenrod color. And this looks like a pale yellow, like almost like it didn't get painted as thick. But I bought six of the Trans Am and two of them are this color and the rest are this color. So I have enough to basically, I don't want to say a confirmed variation, but there is paint color variation on this model. So um, if you're looking through them, when you find them at the store, just look at the Trans Ams because there, there clearly is a difference. It's not just one or two models. There's multiple ones that are these same colors. So I really like this car. I'm not a fan of that really the color it's in, but I'm going to, I'm going to, um, like drill some of these rivets out and make some customs out of them because this is a casting you don't get to see too often in the dollar version. So very cool. So let me know in the comments, which ones are your favorite. Again, Trans Am, really nice casting. The 70 Challenger, the Datsun Nissan Z, really cool, love that throwback livery. The Mustang, the GT500, probably my favorite paint job. Like if this paint job was on this Trans Am, that I'm a winner in my book, but cool enough. And then the BMW M2. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Again, thanks for watching. This is Sam, 64 Wheels. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at 64 Wheels. TikTok, at Samtastic. Facebook, slash 64 Wheels. Or just look up 64 Wheels. I don't post as much there. But um, be on the lookout for more content. Yee yee. Bye, guys.